Hi there, you found us here at Storytime with Miss Becky. I'm Miss Becky, and this is our friend Bear, who loves to read along with you. Bear has a question for you. Would you like to sleep all winter? <laughs> Many knows, Bear. They say they would rather play. Well, Maurice the bear knows it's time for bears to sleep for the winter, but he really wants to find spring instead. Let's put on the magic greeting glasses and see if Maurice can find spring. Finding Spring by Karen Berger. The forest was growing cold. Mama said that soon it would be time to sleep. But all Maurice could think about was his first spring. S-P-R-I-N-G, spring, spring, he sang as they filled up on berries. I wish it was spring right now, Maurice told Mama. Waiting is hard, she said. Right now, it is time to sleep. Maybe you will dream about spring, Mama whispered. Soon she was softly snoring, but Maurice was wide awake. I will go find spring, he said. And off he went. Everyone in the forest was busy. I am looking for spring, Maurice told Squirrel. That might take a while, Squirrel chittered, turning to bury a large acorn. I am looking for spring, he told Rabbit. Not yet, Rabbit giggled before dashing into his warm burrow. Deer didn't even look up from her grass. I am looking for spring, he told Robin. Everything in its time, Robin said. Then she flew south. The wood smelled musky, and there was something new and tangy in the air. I smell spring, said Maurice as he hurried along. Suddenly, Maurice felt an icy sting on his nose. Is that spring? he asked. A beautiful crystal landed on his paw. Spring? The crystal disappeared, but soon there was another, and another, and another. Maurice chased after them. Spring was hard to catch. He chased them past dry leaves, past bare branches, over the frozen stream. All the way to the great hill. Wow, said Maurice. S-P-R-I-N-G, spring. I found spring, he sang as he scooped up a bit to take home. Back in the den, Maurice snuggled happily against Mama. He slept and slept and slept. When he woke up, everyone had already gathered in the meadow. I brought you some spring, Maurice announced. 
but spring was gone. Where is it? he asked. Spring can be hard to find, said Robin. Maybe it's hiding, Rabbit giggled. Deer just blinked. Sometimes you really have to search, said Squirrel. Let's look again, Mama said. So Maurice led them back through the forest. He saw blooming branches and bright green buds. He saw the rushing stream. Everything had changed, and Maurice knew just what to do. To the great hill, he cried. And at last, there it was. Maurice had found spring. Bear's wondering, what would you call all those colorful things Maurice just found on the Great Hill? Flowers? Hmm. Do you think Maurice used to think snow crystals were part of spring? <laughs> yes, is Bear. Hmm. Do you think Maurice thinks snow crystals are part of spring now? Lots of nose, Bear. Well, Bear hopes you come back soon for more adventures in finding signs of spring. Bye for now. Please subscribe.